Hello everybody. So today I wanted to show you guys the leveling build that I'm going to be using. We have we got a pretty sweet one this season because you get violent aspect. Oh, no. Nope. You get violent aspect which gives you uh, your rabies a reduced cooldown. So even though rabies is kind of a crappy skill because we can get the cooldown low, it's actually not that bad early on. It's just one of those abilities that kind of falls off later on and we also get aspect of the alpha this may gives us a 90 percent increased damage to our wolf ability on top of turns them into werewolves and um, the additional damage can spread rabies right so that means we have synergy with the violent aspect in order to help spread that now after that you really can run whatever you want now i personally am a fan of poison creeper i am a fan of wolves i like the companion skills early on i think they do a lot of damage but um yeah you can do whatever you want. So here we go. We're gonna do that. And you can see here it's just spreading to everything. And we're already almost off cooldown. And, be and because you can go into dopamine tunnels here, or domhain tunnels, I forget. I think dopamine tunnels is the nickname. I can always hear people refer to these as. Uh, because you can do that, it like gives you like access to a lot of density to get like a nice spread on everything. Now I am running like shred just for the heck of it, but you don't really even necessarily need to run the core skill, to be honest. So, yeah. And this is a mineral version. If you do get lucky enough to find like a higher version of this, right, it'll uh, be pretty nice. Okay, come on. Oh my gosh, I'm killing. I think I might actually be killing things so fast that. I'm not even giving the rabies a chance to spread. But then again, also, if you want the rabies to spread faster, so if you want to look at how I have it set up, is I'm doing savage rabies here. Uh, I'm still leveling up a little bit of stuff. I went and I put a bunch of points into poison creeper and wolves first, but the next ability that I'm going to be maxing out is going to be rabies. So, yeah. Because uh, the wolf, the specifically the actives on the companion skills just do so much damage. I think it's more worth to... Yeah, like, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at the rabies, just murdering everything, right? Uh, but the actives are so strong on it. I will say this, I do recommend running Claw, specifically, as your basic. And the reason for that is because since if you want to run the companion setup that I have, you can run Pack Leader, and you're just going to have better odds at getting resets with your Pack Leader from your Spirit Moons. So like right here, you can see I have Pack Leader, that was the first thing I went for. So it gives you a chance. Okay, here, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna show you guys something here. So look at this. Bam. That's like that's how strong the wolf active is when you have aspect of the alpha on. Like it just one shots. It just one shots the elites. So I pretty much use rabies as my AOE clear. I use poison creepers AOE clear, and then um, I and then I just use the wolf active as my uh, as kind of like the nuker that'll just one shot the elites. I must wait a um, So that's kind of the game plan I have going on here and then if you're wondering the leveling strat this is the uh the domhain tunnel strat you just clear this first area up to this and then you reset right oh, no, so you do a full you do a full clear of the first area reset man i don't even know if it's i don't even think it's worth it for me to walk back to clear out that last spot it's probably better if i just tp out because you end up just wasting you know so much time right but this is going to be probably the best leveling strat if you're looking for the fastest thing now keep in mind to do this build it does require you to do the first two parts of this but if you just go and do the season journey quest line first you will be able to get both of this like very easily that's what i did i went and did one dungeon i did like four sellers i did the events and then i did the seasonal quest line and then i had both of these done so now obviously if you're in a rush and you don't want to have to go get these aspects you can always just do like throw poison creeper on and do it that way and i'm sure you'd be fine because realistically leveling from 1 to 50 does not take that long no matter how you do it if you're in Domhain Tunnels. But this is just, this feels like a pretty smooth build that I like. So, yeah, just to give you guys a glance at what I have so far here. It's going to be Claw, Enhanced Claw, Wild Claw. I'm going Shred just for the heck of it. You don't necessarily even have to go Shred. Wolves, Enhanced Wolf Pack, Ferocious Wolf Pack, just give me access to Fortify. You can also do Brutal Wolf Pack if you want to give them an attack speed boost. Not a bad idea. It's not bad at all. I just... I'm just going for some defense. Uh, poison Creeper, Enhanced Poison Creeper, Ferocious Poison Creeper. Um, you don't really ever want to take Brutal Poison Creeper. And the only reason I say that is because this literally doubles the damage of Poison Creeper. So 29, 49. 
1474 like it's just it's too much of a damage increase to give it up i mean if you want to try to get more pack leader resets you could run brutal poison creeper but personally i'm not 100 percent certain that it's worth it so um yeah then here we have uh rabies enhanced rabies i went savage rabies so it would do more damage faster but you could go natural rabies and just make it spread faster if you want so yeah these are going to be the things you're going to max um after that so when it comes to ultimates and stuff like that like you could pick up lacerate if you wanted to like you could drop shred pick up lacerate pick up an ultimate because like i really don't even find myself using shred all that much it's kind of just a filler ability but yeah this is just kind of a general outline uh, that you can follow going up to 50 and then just make sure that's and then whenever you get to here so like ursine strength is probably what I would recommend because it's just going to give you a 25% damage buff to everything. Whereas Lupine Ferocity, you don't really have the attack speed, I feel like, to make this worth using. And it also doesn't affect your Poison Creeper and your Wolves. So going something like Ursine Strength when you get your Capstone is going to be the best. Um, man, I'm, I am curious about Lacerate because Lacerate could potentially be okay early on and it only has a 35 second cooldown now so that is pretty interesting but at the same time cataclysm's really cool so i'll I, i'm probably gonna end up going cataclysm just because it looks cool um yeah and also the lucky hit chance on cataclysm is 62 percent which is like another reason that i kind of like it but so if i have lucky hit effects it procs it easier um you could also go petrify if you want a nice defensive one really any of the ultimates are actually not necessarily like a bad pickup here but because the main two things you need to have really are rabies, wolves, and then poison creeper. I really would recommend these three. After that, like all this stuff is just kind of situational depending on what you want. I like the earthen bulwark because it gives me unstoppable. But the reality is, is I only have it up once every 16 seconds because I'm low level. So I don't have access to good cooldown reduction. So you probably wouldn't even notice that big of a deal anyway, not having this. But um, yeah, so that's it. That's just kind of an, an idea for what the build is there. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you next time. Thanks.